Welcome back. Well, another hot and humid one across the area like a sauna out there, as Jasmine said earlier, but scattered showers and thunderstorms cooling some of us off for a little bit, but doesn't really reduce the humidity. It just gets steamier. Then the sun comes back out and it is just like a sauna indeed. So let's take a look at the regional Doppler radars across the area. Scattered activity close to home, but it's more widespread as you get over toward eastern Louisiana and northwest Louisiana. I have a pretty potent system up here by the Natchitoches area. Let's go ahead and put this in motion here and uh, show you what's been going on over the last couple of hours. You see how the storms have been really intensifying along I-49 by uh, the Natchitoches area. is a little bit of a frontal trough right here. We thought it'd be a little bit farther to the south and it may still sag southward as we head through the overnight hours and certainly much more activity as you get into Mississippi and Alabama as well. Locally just scattered activity. Most of the activity has kind of been quieting down but unstable atmosphere. We're going to maintain some rain chances up until about midnight tonight as we could see some of the energy from the north working its way south or some of these storms throwing some boundaries our way as we head into the evening hours. Strongest activity close to home. Some showers uh, raining now uh, pretty heavily near the Ville Platte area just north and east of town and then as you go through uh, portions of St. Landry Parish from about the Washington area maybe a little north of there over farther to the east by Melville and into uh, Point Coupee Parish and then some pretty active storms, mostly lower St. Martin Parish by the Stevensville area. Elsewhere, it's relatively quiet. Let's move the map on over. And there we go. We see an isolated cell uh, that's popped up right by uh, the Avery Island area. And then a little bit more activity as we get over uh, toward uh, just between Delcom and Abbeville, uh, just south of that area, maybe toward the Henry Boston area, uh, seeing a little bit of an isolated cell. So here's the big picture. You see the storms erupting this afternoon. Uh, across portions of the Gulf Coast. So uh, we're going to keep it active in the forecast for now. And then we have our tropical storm soon to become a hurricane once again. Uh, but barrel making landfall is a category two went down to one today and then a tropical storm. And what we have been noticing is that uh, this does not look nearly as uh, forbidding or foreboding right now uh, that westerly and southwesterly shear taking some of the thunderstorm clusters away from from the center of circulation. So it's going to be a while before this gets its momentum back, but it has a two to three day trek out in the Gulf of Mexico, and that'll give it plenty of time to eventually get its act together and develop back to a hurricane. We think that happens on Sunday. And the question is, where is it going to make landfall? The forecast track shifting from uh, just south of uh, Texas to uh, near the Brownsville area, then north of Brownsville. Now it's over by Corpus Christi, and there's evidence that the model may shift a little bit farther to the east and uh, or to the right, which would give this a chance of making Category 2 status. Look, it's going to be a high-end Category 1 uh, as we head into Monday afternoon, and then uh, could be close to a hurricane or tropical storm near the Houston area and notice western Louisiana in much of Louisiana in the eastern part of the cone. Two thirds of the time the storm track goes right through the cone, but 33% of the time it goes outside of the cone and hopefully this is not one that does that. So we'll just watch it. No major concerns yet, but we do have a storm surge, storm surge threat along our coast. Hurricane watch is hoisted all the way up through Sargent, Texas. They'll probably get extended farther north and east with time. This is for the possibility of hurricane conditions in the next 48 hours. Uh, but we go another 12 hours. I think we see that extension a little bit farther to the north and east. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes over the next 12 hours or so. Storm surge watches also in effect for the Texas coast. As we look at the expected arrival time of tropical storm winds, that's going to be Sunday. Looks like the most likely time Sunday evening into Monday morning. And I printed out the percentages. Watch these percentages. Lafayette at zero, but 14% down toward Pecan Island and about 8% over toward the Cameron area. So we'll watch those numbers, but mainly a Texas threat. But notice the graph model again on the right side of the cone and again right of all the forecast models. Those are the lines. These are the spaghetti plots. Uh, can't tell you if this is going to happen or not. And again, this is one model. Don't make decisions on this model, but it shows Houston getting a pretty good wallop and we'll see some tropical rain bands in our area as 
we head into Monday and it looks like we'll see more moisture going into Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll watch the trends. Main issue continues to be elevated tides expected along the coast. And if the storm takes this trek and gets up, well, you know, the graph model here is going for a category two. Well, white here is 100 mile per hour winds. So at least coastal flooding. We don't have any guidance yet, but based on my experience, at least three to five feet along the Cameron coastline uh, with water coming up that high, maybe three to four. Hopefully it's less, but I would plan on that. And you're going to have high water all the way over through Grand Isle as well. So we're going to have some coastal flooding will be likely across much of the Louisiana coastline. So still lingering showers through about midnight. Things quiet down tonight. Then tomorrow we do it all over again with scattered showers. Sunday is when it gets interesting and we see some of those tropical showers coming in. Maybe some funnel clouds as well as we'll see the outer edges of that uh, tropical system more than likely, but not expecting severe weather here locally nor big winds, but it could get breezy as we head into Monday and Tuesday. 78 the low tonight, 93 the projected high for tomorrow with thunder rumbling in the area once again, and we could miss that high temperature by three degrees in either direction depending on when those storms kick in. But notice we'll keep chance of showers and storms in the forecast and more tropical showers and maybe some locally heavy downpours as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and perhaps Wednesday uh, before things settle back to a more normal, non-tropical summer-like scenario. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more a little bit later on.